Hello and welcome back to Richard Bozulich's Get Strong at Tsuji. Today we got some more beginner problems, starting with problem number 104. Black is looking to save these three stones of his and capture four of whites. How does Black do this? Black's move is the 2-1 point here. This effectively gives Black an eye in the corner, and now white cannot win the capture race. Even if white Atari's first, Black will just connect. White cannot put this in Atari because it would be self-Atari. If white throws in, it's a similar situation. White cannot Atari this for self-Atari. Moving on to 105, black is looking to capture white's five stones here and rescue his own up here. How does black do this? Black's move is the simple honey. And if white Atari's the single stone, black will just connect. Now white cannot win this capturing race. Even if white starts the outside like this, black will just do a move like this which would be Atari and White Stones. White will have to capture, then Black will throw in, White Stones are again in Atari, and eventually it leads to White dying. Moving on to problem number 107, Black is looking to capture these five stones up here, as well as save uh, these four down here. How does he do this? As an aside, it looks like it's Ko, but Black can actually avoid the Ko immediately. Or, uh, Black can avoid the Ko unconditionally. And the move for him is to connect. Now white um, cannot play this because it's self Atari. So in order for white to take this liberty off of blacks, white would need to capture these first, which allows black to get the Atari on these. If, bl uh, if white resists first with a move like this, then black will descend on this side. And again, white cannot take this, so white will need to capture these first, allowing black to Atari these. And then when white finally comes back to Atari, Black wins the capturing race. Moving on to problem number 109. Black is looking to capture something in this corner over here. Um, not saying he's going to capture everything, but it is up to white how much black gets. Black's move is the throw in here. Obviously, if white connects, it's just snap back and dies. So white has two options. Uh, white can mitigate their losses by capturing the single stone here and then after black captures the three will connect or can connect if it's big enough um, if white tries to resist and capture this stone and get everything then black will capture the two stones with this move and uh, now let's say white uh, tries to do this sort of throw in black can't capture black is forced to capture these three but now black has extra points um, allowing white to eventually come back and get these Moving on to problem number 112, black is looking to capture these three white stones. How does he do this? Black's move is to cut here. Um, even though this is self Atari on himself, white will capture and then black can throw in. Uh, because black threw in, uh, white can capture, but after black plays this Atari, white is caught in a squeeze and cannot connect to save them. Moving on to problem number 113, Black is looking to save his three stones in the corner and kill all of whites. What is Black's move to do this? Black's move is this one, because this prevents white from attiring from either side. Um, this is not Seki though, if it, if it goes to endgame and uh, it's, it's up to Black to capture them, then Black can take either one of these liberties and be fine, because he still has two liberties so it's not self-Atari. White cannot take the liberty, but black can, and that's the key. Uh, so black can capture all these through. It's not Seki. So that is it for another set of beginner problems. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave that below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.